process has failed, which in this case it has, what you must do is to check your electrical connections, which I know I scored this pretty well. So, I'm not so sure how well I scored this. soda water through the sponges. Still no bubble streaming. Okay, so we've checked all the connections. The only thing I've really been able to determine is that I'm not seeing any sparks. Okay, <laughs> so the battery is working. I'm going to try some different wire. Okay, what was that issue is that these are apparently not stainless steel. Uh, they must be aluminum or something because whatever they were, they were not conductive. So uh, I did go ahead and swap out with the wires in any case and when I tested the wires with those uh, butter knives and it still didn't work and so then I realized my folly is that I was assuming my mom's silverware are stainless steel which it turns out they are not. So I went ahead and I swapped out the uh, and now I don't know if you can get deep into this water container. Uh, there are bubbles floating off of there we go spoon, which is what I decided to use. Okay, so that's our one stainless steel electrode doing hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen rising the water. H2O. And now you see uh, there's a hole on the side here, uh, a steady stream of 
stone gook, which is the stainless steel being released into the water. It's the stainless steel being broken down. And it, it will be... Uh, it will spread out throughout the entire... and the water will be very brown. Those bubbles at the top? I have no idea what those are. <laughs> it's gotta be the filth that's in the water. So that's all there is to it, making some alkaline and acidic water. The acidic water uh, is real good for watering plants. The alkaline water is really good for you. Uh, the molecules of the alkaline water, uh, they better dissolve through your person uh, because uh, they have been organized into a smaller unit that uh, more easily disseminates throughout a person. So the alkaline water is good for animate biology and, the, and is good for plants. So that's why you would want to make clean water. And with a semi-permeable membrane, which is uh, these sponges here, that's what we're using as a semi Now, uh, when we get finished, uh, this water, uh, the one water, the acidic water should be brown, and the alkaline water should still be clear. So I'll check on that in a little while, and. Uh, we'll get to see what it is, the acid and the alkaline water, the difference between the two. And then I'll have myself a cup of alkaline water. And I'll feed some, al or some acidic water to the plants.